Hey, so you're working in Fusion 360 and you've got a file like a step file or imported file from somewhere and you don't see the timeline and even when you have the timeline you're not able to see all the sketches and features that made that up. Why is that? Hey Tyler back with Tech and Espresso. So this was a question on the channel. How do you add sketches? How do you add features to a step file? And maybe even how do you edit all the original sketches that were in the step file? So when it let's start fresh. So here we are in a, you know about to import a model, and this is where you go to open maybe a. I'll look out to my computer. Um, maybe you're going to open a step, an IGIS, a SolidWorks file, an FBX. You know any of these different types of files, especially the ones that do have parametric design like. SOLIDWORKS, Inventor, all of those have a design history and they should, in theory, come over. But because neutral files and shared files don't get translated in the new software, so in Fusion, Fusion really only reads Fusion files. So this is normal behavior. You open it up, you make sure your design history is on, all you will have is an imported body. This is normal, unless you're opening a fusion file from someone else. So this is normal. The important thing to know going forward is anything we add. For example, if we were to add a sketch, a little tab on this face with my capture design history on and I extrude this tab. Great. And this additional tab shows up as a sketch and a feature. Those are, of course, now fully editable. Right click on them, edit sketch, right click on the feature, edit feature. These are fully editable with your design history on. Now, I have mentioned in another video where you can do things that are called direct editing. And this isn't really adding sketches and features as much as just adding push pull, if you want to think of it that way. So I'll hit Q and I can hit this face and add a new offset or even a, an auto, automatic. Automatic's trying to do the best one it can, but sometimes you can get mixed results. So by extruding this a little bit, let's do you know one millimeter and hit okay. It's now adding this push pull or this offset faces in this case, and it's manipulating the geometry. So maybe we'll turn on um, select paint and we'll even do, you know, priority. You don't have to do this, but this can sometimes make it faster for you. So if we're, you know, just going through, that was easier where it's not grabbing points or edges. I right, or if I hit delete on the keyboard, it deletes it and fills that back in. And that's direct editing. And now if we add a fillet to this edge or a chamfer, it's now an additional feature that you can edit and manipulate in the timeline. If you want to learn more about direct editing, I made a video on that. I'm going to link that up right here. And if this was helpful, let me know. Maybe even throw in the word step file. Um, and if it's not helpful, let me know why. I'll see you guys in the next video.